Hello friends, foes, other watchers on the internet. My name is Matt, you're watching Hogwash Gaming. And today we're gonna to be talking about a very, very old style of video game. And that style is called text-based adventures. Now you might be wondering, what is a text-based adventure game? Well, simply put, it's a adventure game that instead of relying on graphics, it relies on text. And uh, what that means is instead of seeing like a man walking across your screen, you would have the words, a man is approaching, and you would read that. That's how the game would work. Now, text-based adventure games aren't exactly the oldest type of video game out there. Pong was out there first, and there may have been a couple others before that. But these were interesting because they were written on computers instead of a console, and they were first played by a printer printing out the answers to things, which was really, really weird and pretty cool. And the, as they developed, they were used in things for like AI development and all sorts of other things. Now there are a lot of places where you can play text-based adventures for free, but I would suggest downloading the program Quest. And the reason why I would say Quest is because not only does it allow you to play all sorts of text-based adventure games written by people all over the world, but it also allows you to write your own. All right, so we're going to start up a game on the program called Quest, and this is a free downloadable game, which allows you to go through and just check out all sorts of games that people have made. And uh, we're gonna go with sci-fi, because I love sci-fi, and we're gonna take a look down here. We've got spaceship, uh, shaceship, hmm. Uh, we've got astronomical amnesia, um, and all of these have some pretty good ratings. Star Wars Escape to the Flagship, that's a little bit of copyright infringement there, but yeah, let's uh, take a look at it. Uh, we got we got two copies of that. Um, Escape the Flagship and Escape the Flagship 2, okay. Well, let's, let's do a Star Wars one. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so here we go. Uh, this is called um, Star Wars Escape the Flagship. You are a stormtrooper who has been captured during a mission on a rebel flagship. You are currently awaiting execution. Can you escape and get to the escape pods? Play this game multiple times. There are much more than a single ending for each chapter. Just check the achievement list to see how many paths there are for each chapter. Though there is not an achievement for every single path. This is a message for Titanfield. Whoever that is. Stormtroopers are not clones, and it is painful to see you give a two-star rating for a reason you were misinformed about. Wow, snap. Ooh, some shade getting passed down there. Okay, and then we've got a uh, two that's being being shown there. Uh, let's let's uh, download this one. All right. Okay, so it's there. We're going to play this. Star Wars, Escape the Flagship. All right. Does this have sound? Nope, okay, cool. It's just basic basic text. Um, all right, you are a stormtrooper of the Empire's military, and you are sitting in a steel cell in the rebel flagship, Suffrage. You were caught planting a tracker on the bottom of the ship while it was preparing for a flight. A rebellion soldier, otherwise known as a rebel, spotted you and brought you to the captain of the ship. He told the rebel to put you into a cell in the brig and then return him to Return to him to talk. You are currently sitting in the cell waiting for the rebel to return. The cell is metal on three sides and a red ray shield on one. All right. So, um, need a checkpoint. Okay, so th I don't know if this is one where you type in your, um, your choices or if it's like a choose your own adventure kind of thing. All right, let's see. Let's hit continue. Oh, yeah, it's a choose-your-own-adventure kind of thing. You see the rebel walk through the open passage in front of your cell. Seems the captain wants me to give you a choice of how you'll be executed. I can throw you out the airlock, which will be quite painful, or I can put you out of your misery right now with my blaster rifle. What will it be? Hmm. 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 Mm. 
Okay, so we have a few suggestions here. Um, we can remain silent. You can say, put me out of my misery. I'll take the airlock. Or you could persuade, you don't have to do this. You could walk me towards the airlock, but put me in an escape pod. No one will ever know the difference. You can threaten, let me right, let me out right now, or I'm going to grab your face and crush your eyes with my fingers. Wow, this guy is uh, vicious. Or, I wasn't planting a listening device. Device. Wrong spelling. Oh, well. I was planting a bomb. It's on the death switch. If I die, everyone dies. I don't think he's going to buy that, and I don't think he's going to buy this, and I don't think he's going to be intimidated that we're at the disadvantage. Let's uh, let's say uh, take the airlock. He turns off the ray shield. Come on, it's not far of a walk. The rebel turns around to grab a pair of plasma cuffs. Um, let's wait. Here, put these plasma cuffs on. He hands you the pair of open handcuffs. How about you put them on, or else put them on, or no? Hmm. Let's be the compliant st stormtrooper. Let's see if uh, the rebel will really uh, <laughs> follow through with this. You put on the plasma cuffs. Onward to the airlock. Before he leaves the room, he realizes his left shoe is untied. Do they have shoelaces? He kneels down and <laughs> sets his rifle on a counter on the right of him. Um... <laughs> Let's just say hurry up. Let's do this. Rebel finishes tying his shoes. Rebel, come on. He grabs his rifle. All right. Walks you to the airlock. All right, step in here. Okay. Attack him or my dead corpse. Persuade. Think of what you're doing. You don't have to do this. Uh, I'm not going to beg and plead. I'm just going to be subservient. Right, you walk into the airlock chamber. The rebel shuts the door. Goodbye. If you strike me down, I will become more powerful than you could ever imagine. Goodbye. The rebel taps a button on the airlock control panel, and you are sucked into space. You have died. <laughs> okay, let's uh, reset there. Um, let's let's try to let's legitimately try to escape now. Uh, continue. Um, let's see if we can uh, take the airlock. Okay, we're going to. Um, Let's wait. Okay, put them on. Grab the gun. Shoot him. Boom, boom. Two rebel guards run through the door to respond to the blaster shot. Other rebel. Hands up! Shoot him. Bluff. I'm the rebel. This stormtrooper knocked me out and put out his armor so you would think that I'm the stormtrooper. I already killed this rebel who had me at gunpoint. Think about what I'll do to you. This is what it. This is exactly what it looks like. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's do this. You manage to shoot and kill a rebel on the left, but the rebel on the right shoots you in the chest. You fly backwards, and he continues to bombard you with laser bolts. Wow, thorough. Okay, let's do this one more time. One more time. Uh, take the airlock. We're going to uh, wait. Uh, put them on, grab the gun, shoot him, uh, shoot him. You fire a flurry at the rebels, one or two. I'm not sh uh, two. Shoot both of the rebels with a barrage of blaster bolts. An alarm sounds and rebels rush to the room. Uh, let's hide. We attempt to hide. The rebels burst into the room, look at the bodies, but they begin to sweep the area. One of the rebels spots you under a desk. There he is. Get him. The rebels fire, open fire on you. You have died. Okay. So I'm not really great at this game, but yeah, uh, we can go to the main menu. Uh, escape the flagship too. Sounds fun, but uh, we're going to uh, stop this game. And we're going to look for something else. Let's, uh, let's look up. Um, fantasy. Let's uh, look this up. A Hobbit Trek. A Stranger. Hmm. Let's. Let's see. A lot of these are the choose your own adventure kind of style games, but some of them have a. Uh, Okay, this one caught my eye. And this an extremely stupid RPG glorious edition. Uh Okay. 
If you like dank stuff and RPGs, juvenile humor, you should play this game. Um, nah, nah. If you're if you're really hankering to see this played, go ahead and play it. It's it's free, guys. Uh, let me see. Super Mega Story Game. Small. What is this? A walk through the wire woods creates a problem you never dreamed of. Okay, interesting. Escape from Forbidden City. Uh, let, let's let's try that one. Let's play. Okay. Not much of a description, but that's okay. And Comic Sans to boot. Wow. Okay. An intrepid explorer, you found it surprisingly easy to enter the Forbidden City. Within but a few minutes, you felt dizzy. You passed out, and when you recovered... Hmm. You are in a cell. Oh. You know, I, uh... <laughs> I wasn't expecting, um... I, sh I should have seen this coming. It it's just like the other one. But, notice this one, you actually type in what you do. So, you are in a cell. A small bare room with a grill in the southern wall. You can see a piece of paper. You can go north. All right, so I'm going to get paper. And, uh, okay, now we're going to look at the paper. Oh, stranger who has strayed. Uh, I can't read that. Who has... Strayed amid betwixt these walls. Thou shalt not find it easy to leave. Three tasks you must perform before night falls. Else there then stayest. Oh, else here thou stayest, and here thy soul shall grieve. Okay. Um, let's look around. Um, guess we're going north. You are in a street. The quiet street runs east-west. There is a bare cell to the south. Um, I'm going to go south again, and we're going to look at the grill. Okay, so apparently this is on the outside of the, of the walls, and we can kind of see out. All right, so let's go back north. Um, all right, so let's go west. You're at a corner. A quiet street stretches to the east. Far to the north, you can see what appears to be rather imposing gates. You can go north or east. Well, I think the gates are going to be locked, but we can, we can check it out. You're, uh, you're at a corner. To the north, imposing wrought iron gates stand open. You can go east, north, or south. Uh, let's keep going towards the gates. You're in the Park of Tranquility. This was once a haven of peace. Now it is overgrown with stinging nettles. You can go south or north. Let's keep going north. You're at the south of a bridge. You can see a hawk and a snake. You can go south. Let's look at the snake. Snake. An evil-looking reptile. It is coiled menacingly in the middle of the bridge. Look at Hawk. Hawk. Perched in a tree over the bridge, it is eyeing the snake hungrily. Talk to Hawk. It says nothing. Okay. Talk to snake. You get no response except, uh, except uh, evil hissing. So you see how this game works. You know, I'm able to uh, talk to these things. And uh, <laughs> we could. Uh, um, yeah, and this program has a nice option. When you click on the objects, you can. Uh, okay, yeah, you can you can read it instead of looking at it. All right. Cool. So look at the snake. You know, so we can we can click on the places and objects. I don't have to write everything. I can just choose them. 
Um, take the hawk? You can't take it. Um, you must be joking. Yeah, I can't take... Take, uh, jump over the snake? Not a good idea. Intrepid you may be, but that would be a stupid plan. Interesting. Touch. Pass. Alright, so let's go south again. So we can't get past the snake. We are at a crossroads. There seems to be some shops down the road to the south. A narrow street leads north. Um, okay, well, uh, apparently we can't look at the shops. Uh, I'll just look at shops. Oh. Look at shops. Okay. You have to go south. Okay. There we go. A shopping area. The only shop open is an apothecary's to the east. You can go. Okay, well, let's go in. Uh, the old fashioned apothecary shop dimly lit. The apothecary stands behind the counter. Upon which stands a box. You can go out. Um, look at box. Let's open the box. All right. It contains some flea powder, some rat poison, and a worm pill. Let's take that. Oh, the apothecary is here. Oh, I, I don't have I don't have money. Okay, well let's uh let's go out then. I didn't know there were there were people here. Um well, let's go south. East west, a road to the north seems to lead to a shopping area. Let's go east. Junction a imposing building up the road to the north. Let's go east again. There's a shop along the way to the north. You can okay. Well, let's go north. An open hardware store stands on the west side of the street. You can go south, in, or north. Okay, let's go in. Uh, look at they are gardening gloves. Let's look at the shelves. Okay, so that's the pair of gloves. Let's take them. Okay. Uh, let's wear the gloves. Look at gloves. They are gardening gloves. Okay. Okay, so we just stole something. Great. North. Uh, okay, so apparently we go here. Um, down the road to the south, we see the opposing building. Okay, so let's... At the north end of Temple Road, you can north or south. You're at the south end of Temple Road, the west stands the great doors of the temple. You can go north or south. Let's go south. Uh, oh, can we go west? Okay, we can't go into the temple. Probably because we stole something. All right, so we're just walking around, but you can kind of see how this works. corner and we'll, we'll just look around maybe we'll find a coin so we can buy something um, oh, let's look at nettles now that we have gloves we can probably pick them up oh right uh, nettles take nettles can't take them why not why can't we take the nettles mm-hmm all right well here we are back at the bridge with the snake hmm yeah so as you can see, this is like really, really fun, and th there's differences, right? There's the one that's more like the choose your own adventure game where you just kind of have choices, and then there's the more interactive version, which I kind of like more, uh, with 
this kind of thing where you have choices, you can interact with the world more. And um, yeah, you don't, you're not doing just scripted things. You can basically do whatever um, has been programmed, but you know, like I can look at something and it might say, ah, you can't look at that. Or you don't know anything about that. Or, oh, I want to go this way. Oh, you can't go that way. But the game will actually tell you, opposed to saying, these are your choices, choose. Now, this requires a little more inspection and looking around. It's, it's very cool. This is the kind of stuff that I grew up with. So yeah, that's how you play text-based adventure games. This was really, really fun, and there's a ton more that I haven't even touched. I don't know what any of these are, really, except for a, a very select few because there are so many and I don't have time to explore all of them but like I said they're written by other people and uh, this is a free program where you can write your own or you can play someone else's games and uh, I think that's pretty cool if you would like to see a tutorial on how to write your own video games on this program just let me know in the comments below and until next time, this is Hogwash, over and out, I'll catch you later.